been some time been a long time and we've been busy at Steamforged uh, coming up with some cool other ideas and more of that's going to be revealed as time goes on uh, but I would very much like you to keep an eye on what's going on at Steamforged and in return I'm going to post a couple of little videos um, of stuff that I found out over this year and one of the most exciting things I found out about, well, that's not exciting we're talking about a wet palette so it's not really exciting at all but if you've ever bought one of these bad boys and been slightly disappointed like I have um, then I will give you a hack now that will make this work exactly how it was supposed to make to, to work and that means it keeps your paint wet you can seal it at the end of the day when you come back to it your mixes are all perfectly usable and so you can carry on painting minimizes the wastage of your paint previously to this hack I've had the same problems I'm sure all of you have with this product that the water dries out, the paints dry out, the paper all curls up and it largely ends up an exercise in frustration. So, very very simple to do. As you know with a wet palette you have a sponge on the bottom that basically holds a reservoir of water and as you can see I've got this res this sponge very well s soaked you know so there's basically water right the way up to the surface. What you do is you grab yourself a piece of kitchen towel fold it in half unfortunately where I come from if you fold it in half it fits the tray perfectly okay so I'm going to move this up to the edge and then along this edge I'm going to cut and again we don't need to be too exact and I'm just going to squish that in until that is soaking wet and what I will do is just add a little bit more water just to make sure it's nice and wet and you can pour it in or you can use one of these pipette things okay so now what we've got is essentially a seal over the water reservoir that's underneath that helps to reduce the amount of evaporation and that's the problem with the design of the P3 wet palette is the paper that they put in is actually smaller than the actual unit itself which means that the water evaporates around the edges the paper curls up doesn't retain the moisture and the whole unit just fails so it's um, a little bit of poor design um, but we can make it work okay so now we've got this here we take a sheet of paper and you can see all the Twitter addresses that you need and of course there's one more that we need to add which is going to be of interest to you which is www.steamforged.com com okay so back to the thing put this in as normal let the paint soak through uh, the, sorry the water soak through and then quite importantly add a little bit more water make sure it's nice and wet you want this to start off being very very wet okay and stretch it out so it's got no wrinkles and you're good to go take your little bit of off cut just fold it up just make sure you don't have any pools of water and in theory if I've got this right I'll take my current favorite paint in the world coal black take a little dab of that we'll add it to the palette and as you can see no spreading and that is going to stay as wet as I want it to for as long as I want it to while I'm painting as you're going through the painting you can either use a pipette just to add a little bit more fluid at the sides okay just to keep it moist or you can just dribble it in through a glass now one of the cool things about this that I've found is if like me you use a lot of glazes um, so you end up with quite a wet mix um, you can actually use the tissue at the side to swipe it off keeps your brush moist whilst reducing the amount of paint on the brush which means when you come to actually painting your lines uh, painting your glazes on you've actually got a nice thinned out controlled amount of paint on your brush which stops you from swamping the model so there you have it check us out more videos to come more useful stuff and more interest in exciting interesting news about the uh, the stuff that we're working on hope you come and join us see you soon